All right, guys, welcome back to some more Raven's Watch. Today we're doing Snow Queen and we're checking out her other ultimate, just like all the other ones. And her new one is called Snowstorm. So we're going to call in a vast snowstorm around the casting location that deals damage over time and applies chilled to all enemies within the area of effect. So some differences between that one and the first one, just from what I'm reading, because I haven't used it at all yet. It sounds like it's going to it won't be channeled like the other one. You channel the beam and you stand there in place and shoot it off. And that's the only thing she does. Sounds like this one, she's just going to cast it and then immediately just start dealing damage. And I think it's going to be right around here because it says around the casting location that like maybe it could be somewhere that I choose with like the mouth or wherever you want to put it. But on the picture, it looks like it's just right around here. But, you know, who knows? I feel like it'll be right around here. Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. You know, you know, I assume we'll be able to cast it and then immediately start doing things. That's what it feels like. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's let's get at it. So, full disclosure, I was already doing a run for the video, and it just the run was just like cursed. Like my keyboard was not cooperating at all. It was like disconnecting and not like inputting anything. Like just not registering any movements. I was getting whacked all over the place. I like my doorbell rang like two times. My dogs were freaking out. Just like everything that could have happened was starting to happen. And then I died. So, and I didn't even get to use the ability. <laughs> like, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's do this thing. All right. So our first two upgrades, we've got uh, windy or windy. I'm not really sure. I feel like windy might be correct because they curve. So the attacks lances are going to curve to seek out targets and their duration resets whenever they hit an enemy up to five times. And then the other one, ice clone, we, our trait is going to leave an ice clone with 50%, 40% of the hero's maximum health. And it attracts the attention of enemies. Uh, it melts after 20 seconds. You can only have one. Both of these, Ice Clone is really good. It's a really great defensive one because it can pull a lot of aggro off of you. Windy Lances, though, it's epic. So it's already, like, way upgraded, which is a big, like, luring point for me. And, you know, I kind of want... There's some other upgrades I want to try with it and just see how it goes. So I'm going to go with that one. And one of the other things I'm going to do on this run, I was doing it on the last one, and it worked really well you know i there were comments you know talking about like hey you know when you use the grimoire don't just um you know don't just use uh the shards like upgrade some of your stuff and then do the uh and then do the upgrades because you're gonna get the value of you're gonna get big value off of them because you're basically upgrading like into legendary for free which yeah, like I had done that before when I when my things were already upgraded. I didn't upgrade them myself. So what I'm going to do is like, you know, go to the Sandman and then we'll upgrade our skills and use a Grimoire to just do the last little bit for free. So I'm going to try and I'm going to follow that advice, you know, give it a go. And bam, come on, dream, dream shards. Thank you. One thing that's really nice about the Snow Queen, and I think it's possibly my favorite aspect of her is just the mobility of her because you can just skate around the world right and this is where windy lances is going to do a lot of work you get a bunch of enemies like this and it's just going to start seeking guys out and dealing damage there we go interrupting them with our defense we're actually going to treat through use a special there to deal a whole bunch of shatter damage and a nice level up so we've got crit chance for each chilled enemy or the hailstorm. So after power, we get waves of ice. I like both of them. Uh, I'm going to go hailstorm. I'm just, I like my power to always deal damage because it's, it's so frustrating at night when all the power does is set up a big like ice field, which is nice because it allows me to just keep the chilled effect on enemies. But at the same time, I love to just continuously deal damage regardless of day or night. I actually do not necessarily need to be doing this. I don't, I probably should not be doing this, but I'm such a sucker for like just kind of clearing things out. So that's kind of what I'm doing. And I, I feel kind of comfortable that I could be potentially getting a, um, like some kind of boss key. It doesn't happen very often. I don't seem to ever find it. We're gonna use our power right there and then start catching him with that. Moving to avoid the roots. And shatter. Boom. Good interrupt. We're going to use our defense here in a moment to avoid that. Keep going, little windy lances. Look at it go. Awesome. And it just keeps going. Boom. Nice. Good circling. 
Alright, get rid of that thing. Alright. Now we're gonna go down. We're gonna hit that little vision thing. Figure out what else is around us. And see if we can't get something. You know something? A tweak I would like for them to do. The These little vision things. They tell us where like little healing fountains and stuff are at. But you know what would be nice for it to show too? Would be the boss keys. I think that would be really nice. Because I like doing the boss events. But I very rarely actually find the keys. And so... I feel like having it find those would be really good. That's that's my idea. That's my opinion, anyways. Maybe they just don't think so. Maybe they don't want that to be the vibe. I, you know, it's their game, I guess. I just feel like it would be kind of nice. Oh, that stupid village. Moving to the side. There we go. We're going to hit a defense. No, we're going to hit a power now. And then go to this side and get both of them. Moving. Shatter them, which stagger him. Defense to stagger him. Come on. And finish him off. Good. I shall bury you in the and we'll keep going this way. We're going to use our trait to just kind of skate in. Avoid them. Use a shatter. And now the windy lancers are just going to go piercing through all kinds of guys from every which what direction. It's fantastic. Moving to this side. Whack. 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 Def nope. No defense. Use our power. Boom. Shatter. There we go. Keep it going. Excellent. Boom, boom. And we got that upgrade. So now, special is also going to th send three attacks forward into cone shape. That's one I wanted, right? So the whole reason for that, that special one, right? I never really use it because I can never seem to actually hit it on anybody. It's best used, I have found, if you use it point blank, like cone shotgun blast, right? But I've been really curious to see how it works with this auto attack upgrade. So if I let those out, are they just going to immediately have a whole bunch of homing seeking auto attacks? Because that would be pretty friggin sick. So that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. And we're going to find out. Maybe you guys know and you're going to be like, yeah, pseudo, of course that's what it would do. You haven't done that before. That's the thing to do. We'll see. And we'll get this item, and there's a Grimrar down there. So one of the things we'll do is collect uh, uh, some of these other, like, you know, shards. Boom. And then move over there. I also used my special there, and I wasn't paying enough attention, but it looked like they did go seeking out. Um, Special deals more damage is nice. Dash deals damage is really nice, too. I don't ever notice this one doing me a lot of work. So I'm going to go with the special dealing more damage. And then we're going to go here to the left, check this out, and then go down and do the Grimoire. Well, we're going to get the, um, we're going to go get the little, yep, it seeks him out. We're going to go get the Raven's Nest so that we can fast travel back to it after we have upgraded our things enough. Nice. Dash through. Hey, friends. Hi. Going around. Don't mind me. Boom. Defense. And then, boom. Oh, look at him go. Oh, buddy. We're going to move in and just kind of avoid them. Use that. The waves will help defend things. We're going to special to avoid that. Oh, look at it go. We're going to use our defense there. That staggered him a bunch. Trait to kind of maneuver and avoid his hook. Moving away. Shatter. Boom. Look at them all go. Defense. And keep going. Come on. Get him, get him, get him. Trait to move around. And then we'll special. Boom hit that with our power to break it faster you know all right so now we've got 350 that will be pretty close to upgrading some things to all legendary uh status or epic whatever word for this game hit them with that that was that was pretty good that the shatter itself dealing another 20 percent extra damage and then all those auto attacks coming out and seeking out and hitting guys and seeking around pretty good Felt good, anyways. Defense kind of push him away, and then we'll hit him with that. We're just kind of circling around. And then we'll hit this guy, because he's a jerk. And he just makes the fight so much longer. Defense push him away. Boom. Boom. Shatter. Hi, friend. Treat through. Ah. Come on. We're going to be ready to defense him in just a moment. Just like that. He's still caught dust. It's annoying. And break. Alright, let's go. Come on. There it is. Now we go to the Sandman. Upgrade some things. Come back and do the strategy. 
get us some free legendary upgrades. You know, you shall be free. Rewarded, my loyal subject. All right, so we're going to upgrade you, you, you. Perfect. Uh, we've got a lot. We're going to have a lot of damage off of all that stuff. So we're also going to take one of those for some armor. Uh, just a little bit of defense, you know. All right. We're at good level for this, too. We've got a lot of good, like, kind of upgrades. So this should be pretty easy. Plus, I found that Snow Queen does really well on these events simply because she does so much AoE damage. Like, she can just absolutely lay waste to a whole bunch of enemies. We are able to use our defense to avoid all of those pig sweeps. Special to avoid that. And then look at those auto attacks that go through. Defense to kind of get away from them. Trait to move away, except I was too slow in doing it. Use our special. Oh, that was that felt pretty good. Moving away from there. I can't wait for the next zone to come out, man. Like to just see like what else is happening and like new strategies and things to do. I'm, I'm ready. All right, upgrade things two times. There we go. Our, our so our windy lances it now can go through six enemies or up to six times. And then the Lance Burst is sending six attacks. That was like the combo I wanted, actually. So that's that's good. So, yeah, to all you guys who were like saying to do that, like, I appreciate it. Because like, I kind of like, the idea for that wasn't quite there for me. Some of the basic concept, you know, obviously, like, you want to, getting free upgrades to Legendary is worth way more shard value than just 150 shards, right? But I never had my upgrades there, and I never really thought about, like, I never connected the dots of, like, upgrade my own stuff so that I could make it happen, you know? So, yeah, we'll keep it going and see what else we got. Should be some more items. Uh, another charge of special would be pretty good, actually, because we're getting those auto attacks off of it. So that would be a pretty good, like, item to find. We're going to use a special there and just kind of move around. And move a distance because with the windy lances we can actually just shoot them from far away and the attacks will just start seeking them out and that'll be really good we're gonna go ahead and dance on in with our trait and then activate this look at it go look at that damage boom boom all right and our next upgrade defense gets us a shield and we get day frost night frost i'm gonna go with a shield having a little bit more of like protection over us will be really good we've got some good damage some good abilities to do damage anyways so i feel like taking the shield is the way to go right now especially because here lately i've been really like aggressive in what i do so i don't i don't really want to like risk losing right now especially with my last run god that was awful moving away to avoid all those roots get rid of that little spider get rid of the little spider thank you defense and then we're gonna shatter right there there we are. Power, and they'll all die there. Except for him. Oh, he died. Let's see what we've got. Critical health gain regeneration. Power deals more damage, or power gains a second charge. Power gains a second charge sounds fantastic. So we're going to do that. And then we'll just keep going up this way. And see what we can get. I would... Oh man, I wish I could find a boss key. I know... So, the way I think it is, like, where it's at, those things tend to be at... It's sort of along the edges because all your like camps are stationed here in like the center of zones right and so why am i doing this i've already done this all right i use my defense just to avoid that i shouldn't be here um yeah but i just there's like two spots in most of the large areas where the camps are they're kind of centered in there whereas i find a lot of the healing fountains right there on the edges and that's where i tend to find the keys and i think that's like the thing that's their thing so we'll go up here depending on how my health goes we will go down to the uh little vitality fountain use a shadow right there look at all that damage and we'll hit them with another power because we have that option moving to the side to avoid that we're going to trait through to do there and hit them with a special six attacks through defense to get them frosted though i probably should have just used my trait come on thank you healing group and get an item defense cooldown power cooldown we'll do the defense cooldown we've already got two charges off our power so having a little bit uh, more use out of our defense especially given that it gives us a shield seems like a nice thing to do we're gonna do it like that so he moves and gets all of them activate our special just uh, at the wrong time 
I wanted to use a special to avoid the roots, and I was just a smidge early. Alright, now we're gonna go up, and we're gonna hit that Dream Shard camp. Another Vitality or Healing Fountain. And then see where we go from there. Maybe get one of those tumors, uh, kind of wear down the boss a little bit so that's an easier fight at the end. We're just gonna ignore all these guys, actually. We're like halfway to level five. I'd rather just use it at one of these sites, though I might be able to kind of burn him down pretty quickly. So I'm gonna give it a go. Get a nice chunk of XP relatively quickly. Nice. And we're gonna go around like this. Mm -hmm. That's so nice. Her mobility is just so good. I know, I remember early on seeing some people who were, you know, they didn't really like her because they felt like her mobility was actually kind of not great because of how her attacks are. Like, she's very, like, slow and stationary when she does her auto attacks. But her trait allows her to be just so mobile and just move around and put herself exactly where she needs to be to avoid the attacks. Use my defense to avoid that. Bam, bam, move away from there. We're gonna kind of circle a little bit. Yep, just like that. No need to do anything fancy. Hit him with it, and see if we can't finish him. I need to go collect those quickly, otherwise I did not need to do that. That was dumb. Luckily, there's a healing fountain to cover my mistakes. Good shatter. There we go. Come on. Defense to avoid that a little bit. We actually caught him as he was trying to move on us. Boom. Oh, man. Didn't catch him. That's okay. And heal. All right. We'll go ahead and just skate ourselves along, get some of this. What I could do, potentially, is go to the Sandman, get some more items. Something, right? We're going to hit a power right there and then just start swinging that out and catching the guys. Boom. Oh, that was good. How close. I'm really close. I would like to hit level 5 before I actually start the tumor instead of in the middle of it. Because I don't want to feel rushed to actually hit the level up and choose my upgrades and stuff. So if I can get it beforehand, that would be great. Moving to the side. We're going to hit him with a trait. Just like that. No big deal. Moving away. Special. Good deal. Um, we're just gonna do it. We're gonna hit level five in the first wave, and then on wave two or three, we'll actually activate the ultimate. Here we go. I'm gonna let them kind of pull along. We're gonna hit our power right there because that's gonna leave a little frost wave along to help out and get them. We're gonna maneuver with our trait there. Special or power, not special. There we go. Shatter. Look at that go. Upgrade. And we're going to take Snowstorm. Here we go. We're going to hit him with the power. Move to this side. And then defense. And cut across. Shatter. Boom. Look at that damage. Power. There we go. Come on. Special. And just kind of keep circling around. I don't need to take that damage. Move. Boom. Boom. Moving. There we go. Just like that. Easy day. All right. So I'm going to try and like pull them. We're going to move kind of far away so that they want to move towards us. Good. Let them go. Right there. And then we'll use our ultimate. Here we go. Boom. Okay. I'm not seeing a whole lot of damage right now. Uh, is it? Is it just the immediate activation that does damage? Huh. It does a tiny amount, a tiny, tiny amount of damage, but it lasts for a very long time. And what was a cooldown? I didn't see where it started it at. I don't, I think it was like 60 seconds, maybe. That deals damage over time and applies chill to all enemies within the area of effect. Huh. Okay. Silence about Looks really cool. I feel like it did some damage like right off the bat, but then it didn't really feel like it was doing a whole lot. I mean, it was dealing, it was chilling them, right? But, like, I I don't necessarily need it to do that. Like, yeah, it's pretty nice when it does do that. But at the same time, like, I need it to, like, kill things. Like, like those things. Like, I need it to kill those. Like, I cannot... I do not want to have to deal with them. No, thank you. And I don't need something to keep them chilled. I can do that already with a bunch of my other abilities. You know? 
Keep going, keep going, keep going, moving to the side to avoid the hook. We're gonna dash like that. We're gonna keep him chilled and then activate our, like, uh, shatter. Huh. It does come off cooldown pretty quick. Like, it's ready to go already, which is nice. Because a lot of the other ones, you know, they're not gonna be ready. You know, you, you have to kind of sparingly choose them. Let's get some items. What have we got? Special does more damage. Power deals more damage. Let's do the special deals more damage. An auto attack damage increase would be really great. Uh, reduce ultimate's cooldown. You know, like, let's just do that and see what happens. We'll definitely be able to use it all the time then. So we'll go up here and we'll use it now. Okay. Shatter. Moving away. Oh, I got messed up. Let me out, let me out, let me out. There we go. Shatter. I guess a constant chilled is kind of nice, actually. You know, I'm like, I don't have to think about whether or not they're chilled. Like, they just are. Uh, let's do the special cooldown because we have some damage increase to our special. We'll keep sliding along. Uh, if I had decided to earlier, I probably could have pulled off the, um, the pig quest. And that might have been a good choice. I used my, uh, shatter to, uh, try and avoid one of those attacks. We're gonna use our trait to just maneuver around. Activate this. Boom. Okay, to go. Okay. Moving. There we go. Use that. Come on. Trait now to reposition and avoid all that crud. Let's use our shatter ability. That's gonna seek out and kill that other one. We're gonna defense to avoid some damage as well as give us a shield, and that's gonna help us with some of that poison damage over time. Use our power. Dodging to avoid that little root. Shatter. There we go. Break. 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 If we can get enough, we'll be able to get the legendary off of the wishing well, which is gonna be awesome. I shall claim what is mine once again. There we go. And one more. Alright. We have a little bit of time. I'm gonna see if I can't get another thing and then go to the wishing well real quick. Ooh, what is this? A grimoire? Nope, boss fight. Okay, we'll get rid of these guys and then call it good. Moving away. Giving them out. Look at that range. I would like to, I need to do more co-op because I feel the experience really changes depending on whether you're solo or co-op with each of the different heroes. Because there's different aspects of their like skills and kit that like I don't get to use because I you know I play by myself. All right, damage taken within a second can exceed 30%. So I've never used a Witch's Broom because I'm afraid of that damage increase. Golden Coat of Chainmail is perfect. That's a really good one. Seven League Boot can also be amazing, except I would be really bad at using it. So I'm going with the Golden Coat because it's just the safe choice for me. But you know, think about whatever you're comfortable using. Choose what you are okay using. Yeah, maybe the like the meta pick or something would have been a different skill or item. But if you're not comfortable using it, then it's it's not the meta pick. Not for you. Like you gotta use what works for you. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and fight the boss now. We've cleared pretty much everything. We're not gonna do the pig. There's another little thing there I could have tried to do, but I've been at this for a minute now because of my last run, so I'm ready for it to be done. We're going to start off with power on one of these things, move to the side, and then hit him with a defense and start activating that. Shatter, Ooh, it went right for the boss, which is good too. We're actually going to do one of these right here. I actually took damage, which sucks. I didn't really think about getting hit there. Defense to avoid his slam. It's slowly chicken away at, ticking away at the boss, which is kind of cool. Oh, I need to go now. Use the trait to get out of there. Boom, shatter. All right, let's use you. Defense to avoid that slam, and we're going to avoid the artillery. One bad thing I'm noticing with that ultimate, it does make it kind of hard to see effects on the ground. You know, it's a minor problem, but it, it exists now, you know. Trait to move to that side, and now we start getting him. Shatter him, boom, moving away. We're going to use our power on this part, and ready to dodge some thorns. Use our trait to avoid it. I didn't avoid shit. Um to avoid some of it was the idea. Dealt damage at least. Trait to move around, chill him. Oh, we need to move. Good thing is too, with that chain mail, like we probably would not take a lot of damage from the big slam, but I just, you know, we don't need to test that. Don't need to test it at all. Keep going. Activate faster. 
that chill effect, we're able to get a ton of guys all at once thanks to the Blizzard doing constant things. So I don't even have to think about where I'm hitting guys. I can just activate my shatter and deal damage. That's pretty sweet. I do like that part. Because not having to like think about what I'm doing with it eases up my like brain processing power quite a bit. Slide along real quick. Shatter that. Moving away. Boom. We're gonna hit him with power and get ready to move. Ooh, I was too slow. I knew what I needed to do, but I needed to do it earlier. So, something I should have done. Defense to avoid some of that. Move now. Oh, I have to freak. This is, not, this is not what I need to have happen. Moving now. Keep circling around a little bit. Activate the power and then shatter him. Kind of just avoiding things. We're going to get ready for the tentacle slap right there. Hit him with some power. That's going to finish him. We got a nice healing globe, which is good. Get to the other side. Nice and quick light. Shatter it. Boom. And I should be avoiding all this crap, but I'm messing it up. Good. We're going to hit him with a power and then shatter. Boom. Hit him with another power. Keep going. That's some decent damage. The power is like really what's, what's doing us for the boss damage right now. We will activate this here and try and catch as many as possible at once. Avoid it with the defense. Activate a shatter. Just try and do as much AoE damage as possible. So I think just right now, this ultimate would be even better if there was if I had the item for a second God damn it. A second special charge. Because things are just constantly chilled. So you can immediately use your shatter back to back to back and just deal a whole bunch of AUE damage like that. Because as of right now, it just doesn't just doesn't really do any damage. That's not just not great. I need it to do damage. I don't need the chill effect. I need damage. Just straight damage. Moving away, moving away, moving away. Moving away. And it was this. Moving away. Using the trait. Shatter. Boom. Moving away. Keep circling around. They hit him with power. Those. All right, here we go. We should be able to finish him and then get him with our trait and power, right? And then a shatter, boom, and then another power, and then another power. Thank you. Oh, come on. We can do better. Come on. Oh, Lord. I, I don't think I can pull off another damage phase. So hopefully... There we go. We need to move away. Mm-hmm. Oh. Bad, bad use. Boom. Get away, get away. Defense to avoid that slap. Get the power. Activate the shatter. Moving away. Treat. That's not great. Oh, that's not great either. Oh, keep going. We're going to hit him with another power here in just a moment. Avoid that slap with the damage or defense. And we did it. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. A couple things with the run. First, positive. We'll start with positive the um the you know that is a very good strategy awesome suggestion from guys in the comments to upgrade some of your skills and then use the uh what do you call them the grimoires to actually hit legendary on some of your skills perfect suggestion really good you know it, it is a very efficient use of dream shards and you know i just never thought of actually upgrading them myself and then using the grimoire for the final step good job and I think it would be a pretty good call for the long run. You know, whether I do that when there's like more levels, you know, who knows? I, I don't know what I'll do when there's more levels to do. Um, yeah, it's an option. It works really well. The ultimate um, was okay. I'm just going to say okay. Um, because it just, it just doesn't do any damage. Like, I feel like that's what it needs to do. And it just doesn't deliver that. The constant chill effect is nice but that alone just isn't enough like a bunch of her other abilities do chill effects like on their own right like her defense applies chill effect without doing any damage her power at night does chill effect without applying any damage her trait at night applies chilled without doing any damage so i i need her ultimate to really kind of pull through and deal some damage because just running off some of the daytime damage and auto attacks or the shatter thing not amazing now that being said if i had 
the and like an item to give me multiple charges of my special in her shatter i think then that would make it way better because then i'm just constantly shattering multiple guys like back to back to back the only thing about that though is you can basically replicate that with her like intro quest for shatter where once you finish it and you shatter somebody with chilled it reapplies chilled so you can get the same effect without it being your ultimate ability it you know yeah so i it's okay it looks cool you put it down and then you're done you know it's nice it does recharge pretty quick too i just think it needs to do a little bit like a little bit more damage you know like it does a tiny bit but i mean it's literally doing a tiny bit of damage like one damage a second it needs a little bit more something or maybe it needs to change for day and night like i don't know man something else but that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed it the windy lances with the special attack cone is pretty cool too that worked out well uh yeah thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it and uh as always take care of yourselves